Do you want a really easy project to build for this Christmas? Hey Remodelholics, welcome back. This is Justin. Today I'm going to show you how to build this sweet little Christmas tree. I'm also going to make a couple different sizes of this tree and show you how to decorate them like this and this. So here's what we're going to need for this project. We're going to need a couple size boards. A 1x2, an 8 foot length. You're also going to need a couple pieces of a 1x4. So this tree has four parts to it. So right here you can see in the plans, I've got all the dimensions laid out for you. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to cut this first piece at five inches. Here's my one by four. The next piece we're going to do is the base of the triangle with 20 degree angles on each side. So I'm going to cut the first end of this at 20 degrees. Okay, so the next piece we're going to do is C. I already have the 20 degree angle right here, so now I'm going to cut it to length and this end is going to be a 50 degree angle. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. If you don't have a saw that will cut more than 45 degrees, this is how you're going to do this. You're going to take a 2x4, chop it off at 45 degrees, and then we're going to clamp this to the saw to cut a 50 degree angle. So now this becomes my fence. So this is 45 degrees, but I need to cut it 50. So I'm just going to move this over 5 degrees, clamp that down, and I'm going to cut down right here at the 50 degree angle. And now we need to do the right side. We're going to cut this end first at 20, and then rough cut it. Okay, so this is how it turns out. All I'm going to do is put a little glue right here in between these joints and nail it together with the bread nail. I don't want to do too much glue so it like oozes out the sides, but just enough to hold this together and the, the brad nail gun is going to act as a little clamp. You don't have to use a brad nail gun, you can just glue it and clamp it and let it sit and it'll be just fine. I'm going to let that dry for a little bit and then I'm going to sand the edges. Just taking off the edges a little bit, nothing big. Just a quick little sand job and then we'll paint it. Take it outside. I'm just gonna spray paint it gold just like this one. So I went ahead and I created a taller version. So all I had to do on the dimensions is add two more inches to each length of the board to create a bigger tree. We started off with this little guy and we thought, hey, let's uh, make a bigger one, right? I'm gonna stain it this uh, weathered gray by Rust-Oleum. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, how easy are you to make? Good. Now we got one more. So now we're gonna work on the next part of the project. We're going to decorate it. So I hired a helper. Okay, so what we're gonna do with these big trees is we are going to do a display like this. One I really like, this is a plumbing chain that they used to use for like when you would flush your toilet. This is the chain that used to lift up the little flap. And I guess he was saying they don't use it very often anymore, but you can get this in bulk. It's brand new, it hasn't been used. Okay, I really like the look of it, I like the color. And that it has the holes you can put the hooks in. Okay, so we're trying to figure out the spacing, and so what we might do is just cut little pieces of chain to go across so that we can put as many ornaments in as we want. Okay, so I bought these one inch square bend hooks, and we'll put those in the side, and that's what we'll hook the um, chain to. Pre-drilling. It's a little easier. Okay. 
Okay. Two down, ten to go. Get him in the Christmas spirit. Okay, so it kind of hangs like that. And we come over to the other side, find the closest one that fits, and then I'm just cutting it. Oops, sorry, like that. We ran out of chain. <laughs> okay. It means we got to go to the hardware store and buy lunch. <laughs> We gotta go visit our favorite person at Jimmy John's. Which is good, because I'm hungry. I'm using these little hooks. Um, they're not little. They're long, like this one. But I am cutting it with the wire cutters so that they're nice and short. Okay. Mm, so, flat. coming from the front, but um, and then just kind of bend it. All right, so for this tree, we wanted to show you a different option. Okay, so we have the tree, we have the twine, we have a staple gun. Okay. So every four and a half inches. Okay, I'm gonna start at 29. Okay, one, two, three, four and a half. It's actually, but it's on mark, so. Should be fine. I'm not even gonna trim it. How about that? Fine. Fine. We really need some Christmas music on. Cue the Christmas music. Oh, Christmas tree, oh Christmas. No, I wanna listen to Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree. Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree. Let the Christmas party hop. Let the Christmas party hop. Not party. Party. <laughs> Human jukebox. Justin box. Okay, that's pretty darn good. Yes, no, I don't want no. Wrong song. Wrong song. <laughs> Put one more in there. Thanks. I never, I never would have thought of that. So I'm here to help. Quality control. Give us a thumbs up if you think this Christmas tree is what? The best. The best. The best. You don't even have to buy a Christmas tree and put it in your house. Just make one of these little guys. <laughs> Uses for this Christmas tree. So you could put cards on it. You could. Uh, mistletoe. <laughs> okay. So this would be. This would make a great advent calendar. You could have a little bucket full of your ornaments and you could put one up every day. That would be super fun, fun for the kids. Um, please be sure to check out our Christmas tree decorating tutorials. We will have a whole playlist over here. We also have another Christmas playlist here for different crafts and things like that. And you can subscribe right here. Right on my face. <laughs> See you in the next video.